Hello my dear friends and welcome to another Marine Engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today my dear friends uh, we will see together uh, how the coronavirus uh, affect the maritime industry and more and more countries already uh, have updated their information and there is a different declaration a prior arrival on the ports so there is a screen scanning from around the airports and the most cases people wearing masks uh, to reduce the risk of transfer of uh, this kind of virus but anyway we know that a lot of viruses was previous before a lot of time uh, we must not panic, we must not uh, say that we are not traveling at all, okay? And as we see, okay, the numbers uh, will increase, but somehow the authorities will find uh, the solution by healing the people, and that's why this uh, virus will stop. But as we see, for the moment, the ports are affected also. Uh, and let's see what Singapore says, uh, Singapore Shipping Association. The Maritime and the Port Authority of Singapore has implemented temperature scanning at all sea checkpoints, including ferries and terminal uh, cruise terminals. This is very good uh, to hear that, that takes some precautions. Uh, because you can feel safe, you can feel that the government interest is uh, for the safety and for the health of people who are traveling there. And also the good hygiene is really, really important in all times. We must wash our hands, we must uh, uh, keep clear our areas where we live and where we stay. This is, must be our rule. In our life also France uh, have uh, sent a bulletin a BD group 28th of January at port of Marseille Falls confirming that the sea links between Yuhan and Dorges have been suspended and advising that the flyer should be distributed to all vessels which will call in China the flyer advises that anyone suffering from the symptoms of a respiratory illness should wear a surgical mask when others are present. Use disposable tissues and wash hands regularly. Contact the French Medical Emergency Services, SAMU, call 15, and then if any journey to Yuhan, to tell them if there was any journey. To reduce the risk of transmission, people with novel coronavirus type symptoms are requested not to go to a hospital or general uh, practitioner. So there must be specific evacuation of that person as we have seen. And also I like to share a very very interesting experience that I have also on board because uh, we are human, okay, we can seek any time. And most of the people, uh, if they are also have not this virus, okay, if they have some uh, flu, they must really be careful and watch, uh, wash the hands before they speak with somebody. Uh, they must be really careful. And also to advise the person to stay back uh, if they are ill. I have seen that on board the vessel, uh, some of them have flu and they really really bad in um, their handling of this virus so everybody must be uh, be careful on board if they're ill it's better uh, to, to stay somewhere evacuated for a while for a week and to not spread this virus so let's check for China, Hentai Insurance Agency and Consultant Service LTD. They make a bulletin on 29 January 
we have checked with China MSA and they noted that no Chinese seaport had been officially announced lockdown. Expect of the inland river port of Yuhan, where the virus is believed to have originated. Meanwhile, due to the end of public holidays, the Spring Festival has been extended to the 2nd February and the ports are taking strict prevention and control measures to deal with the virus. The loading and discharging rate may be slowed down. So we have seen how these uh, virus have affected uh, not only the marine industry and other industries, other uh, big corporations. We must we suggest members those vessels are scheduled to call the China port in the near future to keep close contact with their local agent so as to get the latest port information and to remind their crew members to take necessary protection measures. Let's go to USA New Orleans Patriot Maritime Compliance LLC Bulletin 28th of January. According to MSIB XX20, the Coast Guard COTP of New Orleans require vessels calling within COTP sector will receive an email if the submitted notice of arrival declares that the vessel has called to China within last five ports of call. If any of the crew are exhibiting symptoms, it must be reported as hazardous condition as defined in 33 CFR 160.216. Failure to report the above can lead to the civil penalty of up to $94,290. Kuwait also uh, have some interesting uh, information in Scape shipping services. Kuwait port have advised due to the current epidemic spread of the coronavirus, we are taking extra precautionary measures. All the ship masters coming directly at or trusting China ports are kindly requested to ensure to provide us a statement that no symptoms was observed, such as high temperature, sore throat, coating or breathing difficulties. Therefore, we appreciate to inform Port Authority immediately if such case take place on board. Okay, this is not something that will give a, a help, a big help, because somebody also can hide the symptoms uh, or they can say that this is normal flu or something like that. Uh, United Arabic Emirates, Mutal Marita Marine Services Al Mustaraka LLC, 30 of January. They sent a circular, Federal Transport Authority. All UAE ports must ensure that any vessel that has visited a China port in previous 30 days must provide a master statement that crew are free from symptoms. This must provide it at least three days prior to arrival. As you can see, the shipping industry uh, make a lot of things to reduce uh, the spread. But we can see that before everything started, uh, was delayed the real isolation. A lot of travelers and main uh, from the China was traveled already uh, from these places, and the exact. The exact date of infection was really uh, do not know and the exact uh, information also it's very difficult uh, to be find only its estimation but we hope hopefully I uh, believe that Chinese uh, government will uh, do the best for protect not only the Chinese people but all the humanity USA Delaware Bay Hudson Tactics Bulletin 31 of January uh, MSIB 0420 reminds that the following requirements the master of the ship distinct for the Delaware Bay captain of the port zone shall report to the CDC the occurrence on board if any death or any ill person among passengers or crew including those who have disembarked 
or have been removed during the 15-day period preceding the date of expected arrival in accordance. So there is also 24 hours a day telephone and uh, we will see really in Australia also take bulletins mostly uh, the same declarations if somebody is sick if they have departing uh, the ports and the last five ports of call Uh, normally the sea environment is the best environment uh, without viruses it's really a good place the only thing uh, where we can get sick is on the mainlands and uh, through the airports and through the aeroplanes the airplanes also when we're traveling on airplanes there is a system which is closed air conditioning system and it's more easy because uh, we breathe the same air in aeroplane all these 200 or 300 persons that are inside it's more easy to get uh, sick there that's why I believe also uh, most of the countries make checks inside the aeroplane direct they take samples from there uh, for this coronavirus and now the last update that I have heard they say that in two hours there is already a possible a rapid test of this virus they can find if somebody is positive or not so from me uh, adventure story I will uh, say uh, health to everyone health uh, for all the world there is a lot of diseases around the world uh, which we need to find and uh, we must be strong and also it's very important that we have our immune system strong to protect from this virus it's eat good eat well rest yourself this is also very important and be healthy from me adventure story bye bye See you in the next videos and don't forget the previous videos also my dear friends.